Namaste. Welcome back, my way, Salt Tribe family. Hopefully you are well and you are rested. If you're new to the channel, allow me to be the first to welcome you over to All Being 1111 Energy. We're over here. We keep it real. Sometimes I come in hot and sometimes not. Quick disclosure, what that means is I do curse, I do speak the truth, and I do call out names when guided too. Okay. Um, if you have yet to the subscribe to the channel, but you're over here again, because you're just being nosy because you're a cross watcher or you're a karmic um, and you belong to one of these corrupt groups that I constantly channel your energy. Um, <laughs> yeah, go on and subscribe because you already know, you know, you're falling down. Cha-ching, <laughs> like, cha -ching. <laughs> cha -ching. you know, you're falling down. I get it. I get it. Not a problem. It's okay. Um, nevertheless, y'all channeled a lot of stuff, right? First and foremost. Cell phone towers, you're on a corrupt cell phone tower. Um, I shouldn't say corrupt, but if they put you on a broken one because you're in a certain zip code or whatever the case, however, their little data AI systems are now category categorizing everyone, um, that would be the problem. For somebody that's out there, you're out and about, you can't seem to get your phone to function properly. But when you're at home, it's because they have you on a cell phone modulator um, or a, a, what is that? The tower modulator. It looks like you're on a, yeah, mm -hmm. you know how crooks do, you know how people do. Uh, so that is a message. Also, I don't know, but I had to cover up my address. I keep getting this. This is a notification about um, a new 25, 2025 benefit information for Colorado residents. It's saying that the state will pay 100% of your funeral and final expenses up to $35,000. This payment is a tax-free for Colorado residents. Everybody I've asked has never gotten that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, I've asked a few people here and no one's ever gotten that. So you already know, uh, you know what I'm saying, people? Like, you know, what is this about, right, right? You know, uh, like I said, they will do anything Real corrupt. Okay. Now y'all just saw that. Yeah. Yeah. I've asked several people. No one has it. Okay. No one has it. So um, at least no one has told me they have that. So I don't know what that's about family, but I put it out there to let it be known. Okay. Just in case you do get one of those, then we can all do some investigating together. That's if you live in the state of Colorado. Maybe your state is doing something different. I don't know. But take what resonates and leave what does not. So welcome, welcome, welcome to the channel, all the new individuals, okay? All the new family members, uh, the family members who have subscribed, who have joined, who have been with me since day one. I love you and the divine loves you, okay? Cross watchers and karmics, you're just over here. Not a problem. You'll continue to be over here. <laughs> Because <laughs> you know over here, it's the real deal, okay? So with that being the case, y'all, let's just tap in um, because there's a, a video, like literally I could not get the messages to upload and I had to t uh, step out and I rarely, you know, do that. But I couldn't even get anything uploaded. And then I was like, well, I already scheduled it to preview and I noticed it didn't preview. So there was something in the messages that I guess was factual. Somebody didn't want it to get out. I don't know. But let's go on and ask the divine at this time, divine creator of all living things. I do ask that you protect myself, the all be in 1111 energy, soul tribe, family, and the collective. Uh, during this read, all reads and all the time, I ask that you provide clear and concise messages as well as clarity, guidance, intuition, wisdom, and discernment. Any negativity that is projected or thrown at myself or the Soul Tribe family, I ask that you strike it down and cut it down as we too strike it down and cut it down, clear, cancel, and release it back to the universe. For the universe to do with that energy as the universe sees fit and in some occasions, return that to center. Yeah. Out here, we have house and false persons. So someone was deceitful and they lied pertaining to a property, okay? A false person here with the kipper represents someone who's a deceitful person, a liar, okay? Uh, somebody could have lied to you about a property, a home. Um, this house also gives me because it's so big and behind it, it looks like little, you know, I don't know, what is that, a capital, some sort of little... Or maybe like a little city, something. Um, this house also gives me the energy of like a big estate or multiple properties. 
multiple properties. And oh, yes, Spirit also said because of all of the stuff that has happened with the data breaches, you guys, you don't really know what's going on with your name or your social security number anymore. Um, <laughs> I heard that. Spirit said start a petition where everybody gets a new social security number because they have your information's out there. It's on the dark web. You might as well automatically assume that for somebody. That's the message. Tell me about this false person in this home. It was a scam between some lovers. Okay. As you can see, they're both on here. Masculine, feminine energy. These were people that were scamming. Mm -hmm. I feel like one of these lovers is either ill or passing away. But this is somebody that uh, has has done a lot of scamming in their life. They've done a lot of deceitful things in their life. Uh, they've tricked people into signing things over to them. This is what spirit is saying. Tell me more about this false person, please. And thank you. Mm. This false person is a, a main female. So this main female is actually attached to a main male. This is a significant other. She could also be a key player in this whole organization. Okay, tell me more about this false person who's a main female, please. And thank you, Spirit. Mm. Tell me more about this false person who's a main female, please. And thank you. I guess that's all the spirit wants us to know about that. Tell me about this house. Mm. So whatever was supposed to be discussed within a home, within a private room, it was not. It was not a private room. It was not a private setting. Something was overheard pertaining to a house, a home, or proper deeds. Whatever was discussed, it wasn't private. Someone heard something. It got out. Mm, we got out to an official person. Mm, someone held in high honor an authoritative figure. Mm. Tell me more about the lovers. Yeah, these lovers were getting unexpected income off of these scams. Wow. Boy, as this year is wrapping up, y'all, it's coming out. By the way, <laughs> I have been gang stalked for a very long time. Why did uh somebody call me? And I'm looking like, I know this company. And they wanted me to work in a basement of a hospital. I'm not. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck? And you sending out um insurance policies? Like, you know what I'm saying? Y'all look, I ain't paranoid, but fuck that. Excuse me, quick disclosure. I do curse and, and I do speak the truth. You did just see me show you what I showed you, right? Mm. Yeah, that part. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Okay. Side note, that was just an intermission. Mm -hmm. These lovers were getting unexpected income off of doing a lot of dirt. And it wasn't private either. They left a trail. What was supposed to be held in private, it wasn't. It was not. Courthouses may know about this now. Mm. tell me more what's going on with this yeah somebody's concerned behind a gift and there's a gift that concerns someone out here and this gift that they're concerned about has something to do with you family see you've got 33 here and 17 17 breaks down to 8 and 33 does not break down and then you have 11. Yeah, they're concerned. They're concerned about a gift of sudden wealth. 
because they already know that these people did a lot of dirt. They did something underhanded. I feel like your name was used in some underhanded business. Somebody could have been acting like they were you. They were trying to use your signature. Somebody got a copy of your signature and ain't no telling where it came from because you find everything. You know how people do. They take signatures, make it seem like it's you. Every time you have to send your ID somewhere. Oh, yeah. Somebody got your name on a lot of stuff. And they're saying. Whoever did this, they were definitely a false person. They lied. They were deceitful. This feels to me like an energy, like you had a copycat out there. You had a lookalike out there. You had somebody out there that was using your name or using something of yours pertaining to property, real estate. And what was ever, whatever was supposed to be discussed in privacy behind closed doors, it wasn't. It was, it was found out. Something was found out. Something was investigated by an official person. These people know that they, that you have a gift coming and this is what concerns them because this gift makes you wealthy. They don't know what you're going to do once you become wealthy. Hmm. I feel like that has them very concerned. Mm -hmm. A wealthy man may have had something to do with, with this change and this ending. Mm -hmm. There could have been a wealthy man that had something to do with this change, bringing things to an ending. Um, this ending could have been uh, pertaining to a community a community that was working with a false um, female, mm -hmm. a false person and a main female in a community. Yeah. This gives me the energy of like Empress in reverse type energy out here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Something got, uh, something is in a courthouse. I feel like the courthouse is the one that is going to be releasing whatever this gift is, whatever this sudden wealth is. I feel like a wealthy man had a lot to do with the changes that are coming into your life, putting something to an end. They may even be um, a mature man now. I feel like this could have been a wealthy man in their younger years. They're a mature man now, but there was something that they brought to an end. They brought a change in. Mm hmm. Yep. This message got folk in despair. Mm -hmm. They're in despair now. Because it seems like there's great fortune that I just saw that belongs to a mature woman. And I see the great fortune again ever since she was a child and a privileged lady. Yeah, there was something they, they put the privileged lady in jail. She was a. Uh, Ever since she was a child, she had this great fortune and her occupation with seven is connected to source. 34 occupation breaks down to seven. 34 breaks down to seven. Mm -hmm. her, and that's God's number. The divine's number is seven. Her occupation is tied directly to source. This has people in despair. Somebody got a message that put their ass straight in despair. Yeah, because you held in high honor, you mature lady. Flip the roses as you see fit. This may not be your story. But yep, your occupation is held in high honor and you are a mature woman now. You could be a grandmother now. You could be a mother, a great grandmother, an aunt, a great aunt, but you are a mature woman. And this was looked at something here. So I feel like it started in a Laurel Court. Somebody, this is giving me like the energy of... um a mediator. I don't know why I'm getting a mediator energy here. It was almost like, yeah, somebody had to come in and mediate this great fortune. It was like somebody was there. It's it's somebody that has no ties to either party, but they're solid in how they handle business, how they stand on business. They are not a biased individual. They are not a bigot. This is somebody that is having to come 
to some sort of determination be behind what the what this false ma masculine and feminine energy have done pertaining to somebody's great fortune. Because regardless, it's owed. Okay. Yep. Something pertaining to uh, imprisonment and courtship. They could have been doing this for a very long time. Somebody could be facing jail time. Because you have the false person and the lovers here. I feel like this was something that has been going on for a very long time. These people have been somebody about to go to jail behind this. Behind someone's toil and labor. Somebody was toiling and laboring. But could have been looking different on paper. Could have been looking like they were established with the husband and everything else. It feels to me like somebody finingled some stuff. Because you got a courtship and then marriage. Somebody, I feel these two energies, masculine and feminine energy, they have set up this whole scam. This is like a pyramid scheme. It's like they've been doing this all their life. Yeah. They're in thoughts. They want to know how you knew you, that they was doing it. You may have uh, blew the whistle on something. And it put somebody in bad health. You blowing the whistle put somebody in bad health. Yeah, because you were proving five of swords at the bottom of the deck. Yep, what I tell you. They, was, they were trying to defeat an empress at all costs here. They were causing a lot of conflict, a lot of disagreements, a lot of uh, misconceptions, a lot of just, just yucky, okay? Bullying, aggressive, everything. They could have even been trying to say that was your energy, but I feel like this was an energy trying to conquer an empress energy, mother Gaia energy, a nurturer, someone who's nurturing all of the queens, in the upright, somebody may have been trying to bully you because you are a privileged lady energy. This is what I'm feeling. I feel like these false people were bullying you. They may have bullied you out of property. They may have even stole something. They may have lied. They, there was something that got messed up. Mm -hmm. Powers at the bottom. Yeah. Chaos, miss, uh, mayhem, upheavals, sudden changes. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Tell me more. You were tired of being bullied. You were tired of being punked. <laughs> Y'all remember that show? You got punked. Yeah, look. Look at that. You was being punked. I'm telling you, well, by a high priestess in the reverse. Someone trying to block not just your intuition, but block you on everything and all things, your businesses. Um, your reputation, um, being very uh, superficial, causing a lot of confusion because they had a lot of hidden motives. That hidden motives was to steal your money. Whatever you had coming to you, whatever was left to you, somebody left something to you and their whole thing was take it from you. I'm telling you. Their whole thing was to take it from you. They thought you was some out to lunch type of energy. They didn't want you to have a new beginning. They didn't want you to be the boss that you are. And spirit saying that's the truth. It doesn't matter. You're still a boss. It doesn't matter. You you took some, some negative, and I mean some negative bullshit. You took some negative bullshit. And you still made something of it. And that's because you just refuse to lay down and just take what these crooks were trying to hand out to you because the whole system, and I don't care what nobody says, is crooked as hell. So you were able to take some horrible things and still turn yourself into a role model, a leader of some sort, an inspiration, a beacon of light, a testimony, 
to what people are going through. You shine the light on everything that you were going through within the justice system. This is what spirit is saying. I can't make it up. There it is. It just came right out. There it is. <laughs> Yeah, this freed you from that toxicity. I feel like, you know, a lot of people have gone through this. They've gone through worrying and anxiety, worrying and anxiety. OK, even depression. And despair behind the justice system. You shined light on that. I feel like this has a lot to do with the reading I just uploaded. You shined the light on how corrupt the justice system was. And I mean, look how fast that Knight of Swords came rushing in. This was like spirit giving you some direct guidance and you acting on it fast to free yourself from this toxic energy so that you could recover. You do not, um, you do not ever wish to ever in your life, come in contact with anything like these people again, because I feel these people caused you a lot of heartache. The justice system could even be um, be the ones to give you this unexpected income because you shined a light on a group of people. They're coming in the upright as being supportive, but that's because they had hidden motives the entire time. There was fast thinking here on your part. Something got to an official person. This official person, whatever it was that got to him, it freed you from this toxic devilish energy that you've been dealing with because these people were in five of swords. They were not going to let you go. They were not going to let you go. Look, they was too busy trying to make sure that you had nothing. They wanted you to be out in the cold. They wanted you to experience conflict and instability. Instability. They purposely perpetuated you feeling unwelcomed. All that came out. That's all known. This official person knows all that. Okay, spirit, what's that message? Came out on the fence, though. So you have the Page of Swords here. Mm -hmm. um, I feel like, you know, you were vigilant. I feel like, you know, um, something inspired you. OK, something about you um, being divinely guided and connected to source. It's almost like you were the messenger here. You were the messenger. You sent out the message, yeah. And then a Knight of Cups comes in at the bottom of the deck. So not only did you send out a message, but you sent it out creatively. Something about a, um, even a romance there. I don't know why I just got like your book could be a book of ro uh, romance. Yeah. Surrounding this hair font energy, because this is all hair font. See, these people right here that do this type of stuff, there's several players involved though. This is the the courts. Oops, let me pull that hair font out. Yeah. The hair font. They planned. They were making so many choices. They were they look, they got the you got the hair font, the three of wands, and the eight of cups. These people were planning to displace you. Mm-hmm. Five of Pentacles out in the cold trying to make you lose money or causing you to lose money, especially if you're job hopping mm -hmm. and they got the nerve to have somebody call me. Are you kidding me? I, I wouldn't go nowhere near none of y'all jobs. I don't trust you. And you're offering me life insurance, but everybody else I call and contact, they're not getting the same offer. Why do you not think that I would look at the state of Colorado as trying to unalive me? Fuck all y'all. And I mean that shit. <laughs> I'm like, hmm? The same company? They wanted me to go work in a basement at a hospital. I was like, why would I work in the basement at a hospital? Fuck these people. Excuse me. I'm upset about that. I was like, what? I have called 10 people, showed them, took pictures, sent this off. Did you get this? Everybody's like, no. I'm like, what the fuck? You ain't getting it, but I am? Shit. I do not trust the state of Colorado. I'm saying it on this message right here. I do not trust the state of Colorado. They will unalive you. This is how I feel about this state. This is why I'm getting out of this state. 
I do not trust these people here. I'm going to say that again. All right. Yeah. See, you've been working hard. Seven of seven of pentacles. Okay. You've been working hard. You've been uh, diligently working. And then you have what out there? The five of wands. So while you're working hard, you're going through conflict, adversity, and constant bullshit with these people. And they want to put you back in the game to go through that because they're upset that you found a means to take care of yourself and get away from them and get away from that toxic energy. Because every single time you go to work for these kind of people, for these dark nights of the soul, for these um, high priestess in the reverse energies, you end up being subject to their abuse, their manipulation, their constant, um, you know, defiling of your character, defiling of who you are. You constantly remain in that environment. These people are upset because you have found a way to get away from them through Six of Pentacles energy. And you have out here the Nine of Wands energy by just pure D perseverance and standing your ground. OK, and this is giving me like you done been through battle after battle after battle after battle. And on each battle, it it, it was the same. You, it's a giving and receiving. You take their paycheck for their fucking abuse. <laughs> yeah, that's what it is. You've been taking their paycheck for their damn abuse. So it's like, as long as we pay you, we can say whatever the hell we want to say to you. We can treat you however the hell we want to treat you. And they expect you to walk back into something like that, knowing that your social security number is tied to you. So no matter what state, what did Eric, uh, what did Nick say at the CDLE? What did Nick say? The trainer, Nick, he said, uh, department in, of labor is in every state. So you know what that told me, y'all? All they're going to do is send my social security number to whatever state I went to, and boom, they'd start the harassment in that state. Thanks, Nick, for the heads up, dumb bitch. Um, excuse me. I didn't mean to, but I had to. But yeah, yeah. You know, um, y'all, I feel like, you know, hell yeah. They know they about to lose. <laughs> they got they got a, a, a few more weeks left, y'all. Mm-hmm. They have a few more weeks left and they already know it's over. It's over. Okay. It's over for these people. Yes. Why would I ever work in the state of Colorado? And they're sending me out this. That's like, yeah, sure. Go to work. We'll make it look like it's a fucking accident. And then we'll uh, compensate your family and, and, and pay for your funeral. Fuck Colorado. Crazy. Everybody I've called and asked, hey, you know about this? They're like, uh-uh. Okay. Yeah, I know. Y'all, I'm sorry. I, I'm just upset. You know, that, that kind of hurts my feelings because it's like y'all still coming for me, huh? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So if you're in this energy and no projection or spirit, I, I rebuke any projection. I'm not trying to project on y'all, but I mean, I got to show it. I don't come on here just to be, you know, just sitting here talking real talk. <laughs> I'm on here because, uh, yeah, there's testimony, real testimony, right? This is what has been my life born and raised here in this state. Mm -hmm. And it's 50 times worse because everybody now is a transplant and they brought in their toxicity, their negativity, their bigotry from their state right here. Mm -hmm. So whatever's going on, um, I feel like, you know, there has been people that have come in, they've looked, they've seen they've investigated. I feel like, you know, you are um, being freed from a lot of energies, but still they're still sending people in. This is why this energy keeps popping up because they're trying. They're trying harder now more than ever. And the reason they're trying harder now more than ever is because they know their time is coming to an end family. They know their time is coming to an end. They know that they have been so corrupt that whether they believe in a heaven or a hell or whatever the case may be, and there's a strong saying that I heard some, the life that you live is the one that you, that you pass by. 
So if you have constantly been somebody who has always tried to hold somebody else down, bad health, whether it's mental, emotional, spiritual, physical, or all the above. Because I feel these people have been living high off the horse, uh, off of other people's hard work, other people's backs. Causing a lot of conflict and adversity. And it's like, we pay you to abuse you. They paid you a check to abuse you. They paid you a check to abuse you. And that's what they're standing on. You had a privilege. You were privileged to work. And while you're working, we're going to make your fucking life a living hell. And that's exactly what they did. And now they're trying to come back around and do it again. So family, I'm just going to tell you right now, excuse me for all the curse words. I'm very upset as you can see why, how dare you offer me a life insurance policy, but I'm seeing a lady on Facebook talking about parents. A lot of mothers are passing and mothers get this set up for your children. And I'm like, wait, she right here in Colorado. So they didn't offer her what they offering me. Yeah. Questionable, right? questionable so i'm going to leave that energy here for y'all but i want to put it out there for those of you that are in colorado did you get that letter and if you did have you signed up <laughs> let me know okay uh yes that part please do let me know all right so at this time i'm going to go on and ask if you have yet to subscribe please subscribe um and if you don't want to that's fine keep watching either way it goes thank you all right to my a ones who are my day ones to my soul tribe family members to the all being 1111 energy soul tribe family the awakened i love you and the divine loves you i appreciate all your likes your shares your subscribes your monthly contributions for the members who have joined your super chats every kind of way that you donate to the channel i am grateful Okay, so I'm going to go on and leave that energy here. Uh, <laughs> hopefully, you know, it resonates. I know that could have been a little because I, I was like, really? What, what is this? And after asking so many people and then seeing her Facebook post and I got this sitting here. I'm in question. I'm in question. Okay, tell me in the comments, though, if I'm if I'm if I'm over, you know, if I, you know, just just let me know. Is that not suspect? If it's not suspect, please let me know, okay? Other than that, Soul Tribe family, you know how we do this. Divine creator of all living things, I ask that you keep in my life and the all be in 1111 energy Soul Tribe family's life. Love, harmony, tranquility, prosperity, peace, protection, and respect at all times. Ashe and thank you. And until next time, you know what I love to say. Namaste.